So this is the second time I'm going to feature one of the recipes that you can make with Aurora Creations. Um, tonight I'm going to make the or their organic cauliflower. And the recipe is found on the back. This is all that you need. Olive oil, ginger, green chili, tomato, cauliflower, and chopped cilantro. So I'm going to go ahead and get... So the first step is just to heat oil in um, a saute pan or a wok for a minute. So I'm going to let that heat up and it's supposed to be on medium heat. So I need to change that to medium heat. And then I'll start adding. Okay, the oil is beginning to pop so I'm going to lower it down a little bit. Next you want to add your ginger. And this is one fourth cup of fresh sliced ginger. I'm kind of scared it's going to spit on me. I'm going to add it on the side. And then you want two plum tomatoes chopped. And one fourth cup of chopped green chilies. And we're going to stir this around and let it cook. Okay, now that it's been cooking for a minute, we want to add the Aurora Creations Gobi Spice Blend. And Gobi, I believe, means cauliflower. That's why it's called the Gobi Spice Blend. And the Aurora Creations Spice Blend just comes like this. It's a very flat package. And then, um, I just sprinkle it all over the vegetables. And that's emptied. I'll just mix this through. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. And then you want to let it cook for another two minutes after this has been mixed around. Now I did add a couple of more tomatoes than normal because I like tomatoes. Um, so yours might not look this tomato-y. <laughs> we'll make up words. And this is where the, um, the Indian flavors and the Indian spices really fill your kitchen when you open that spice packet and put it into this. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like I've walked into an Indian restaurant. It smells fantastic. And one of the reasons that I kind of got into Aurora Creations in the first place is because growing up, um, I had a good, very, very good friend whose parents came from India and her house always smelled like Indian food and it smelled delicious. And I always wanted to be able to um, have that smell in my own home, but knew I couldn't get the Indian spices correctly. So um, I'm really excited that Aurora Creations is available for someone like me that didn't grow up with Indian parents but would like to be able to cook Indian food in my own home. So I'm going to let that cook for two minutes and then I'm going to add the cauliflower. Okay, so the olive oil, ginger, tomatoes, and green chili mixture has been cooking for two minutes with the, the Aurora Creations spice blend added. And now we're going to throw in the cauliflower, which um, it says to put in very small florets, which makes sense because cauliflower cooks very slowly. And so when you're cooking it on a stove top, I can see how you'd want it in small florets so that it cooks um, more quickly. And the cauliflower that's white, you can see, shows you what the colors of the spices are. Um, they turn very, very yellow, obviously. And so you just want to mix the cauliflower in. This is where a wok would be more ideal, but I don't have a wok. Um, but, you know, not having a wok shows you that you don't need a wok. So that works out too. And what you're going to do is cook this over medium heat with the cauliflower in it for 20 minutes. And then that's pretty much it, other than you're going to um, 
you know, sprinkle with cilantro or whatever you, um, what, you know, if you have parsley or something, I'm sure that would work as well. So I'm going to cook this for 20 minutes and show you what it looks like afterwards. So one of the hints on the back of the package is that you can add some water to it to keep the sauce more sauce saucy rather than it evaporating. So I'm going to add a half cup of water. This is um, a fourth of a cup measuring cup, so that's why I'm adding two to kind of keep it going. And it's been cooking for about 10 minutes now, so you can see that the consistency has changed a little bit. Um, the cauliflower has really absorbed all of those gorgeous spices, and um, it's getting a little bit softer too. So I'm getting excited because it's about time to eat. I'll show you what it looks like in about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been cooking for 20 minutes now. You can see that the cauliflower has really, really taken on the spices and the colors um, of those spices. And what you want to do is just let this cool down a bit. You um, can sprinkle it with some cilantro. Another option to make a variance of this is to add two to three boiled and diced potatoes um, to cook with the cauliflower. I'll include a link in the description of this video as to where you can buy Aurora Creations spice packets online if you're interested in learning more. They've got tons, that not only the um, this cauliflower one that I just made, but also a chickpea one, ones for chicken, and a bunch of other uh, kidney beans. I can't think of them all right now. but. This is the second one I've tried and it is fabulous. It's gluten free, it's diabetic safe, it's low sodium and nut free. You can also visit Aurora Creations online at auroracreations.com. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks so much for watching and if you like to learn about healthy recipes, please consider subscribing to our channel.